Welcome to this Excelstat short video on how to create and customize a plot with Excelstat. There are several plots available in Excelstat. The first category are the plots you can create from the data directly. There are several univariate plots you can use. Box plot, scattergrams, strip plot, stem and leaf plot, normal PP plot, normal QQ plot. Then you can draw histograms, scatter plots, parallel coordinate plots and error bars. The second category of plots are the ones generated while computing and analysis. All types of plots can be customized. Let's see how to set up a plot directly from the data. The first thing you have to do is to open the dialog box of the plot you want to create. In Microsoft Excel 2007 and 2010 you have a menu bar that contains a list of functions. The plots are grouped under visualizing data. Click on the plot you wish to use. If you are using Microsoft Excel 2003 or a prior version, you may use the toolbar and select the icon of the plot to be used. Once the dialog box is open, you must select the data you wish to plot. The selection is done on the General tab. Depending on the plot, there will be different options. One or several tables containing one or several variables. Proceed to the selection, click on the range selector and use the mouse to select the data in the spreadsheet. You can select the columns directly if the data start in the first row or you may select a range. The variables can be non-adjacent. You may need to fill in further information. For example, the presence of variable labels. When you have the name of the variables included in the selection, you need to take the options variable labels. It is possible to use a category variable to group the samples by color on the plot. The bubbles option enables you to have a display as bubbles. Also, you may wish to include observations or units labels. In this case, tick the option observation labels and click on the range selector to select them. Also, you can click on the option Use Cell Format to get the font size and color of the labels in your plot. Finally, in the General tab, you can decide where the plot should be displayed. You have three choices. You can place them at a specific place in a spreadsheet, and in this case, you select the option Range. The outputs can be displayed in a new sheet, in this case, select the option Sheet. The last option enables you to place the results in a new workbook. This option is Workbook. Each plot provides you with a different dialog box that may contain an options tab. Go to this tab as it gives you the opportunity to customize the plots. Don't hesitate to click on the Help button available in the bottom right corner of the dialog box. Upon click, the Help documentation will be displayed and you can browse through the dialog box section of the selected plot to learn about the options. When everything is set, you can proceed to the plotting by clicking on the OK button. If you notice that you have to make a change, you can always go back by clicking on the Back button. First, you can modify the appearance of the text concepts. In this example, we are increasing the size of the labels and having them in bold fonts. Then you can modify labels in more detail with the Excel Stat option Easy Labels. Here we change the labels from a full name to an abbreviation and add some color code to visualize the information better. The reposition labels option helps you to place the labels how you want compared to the marker. You can click on a marker and get to modify the markers with Excel options. The type of modifications includes the marker type, the marker fill, etc. This modifies a series of markers. With the Excel stat option Easy Points, you can go further in the customization and define the shape, size, and color of each point. Here we change the size to 5 and get blue squares for some samples as their code is 1 and the background color of their cells are blue. The other samples get a red diamond marker as their code is 2 and the background of their cells are red. In a scatter plot, or on some results, it may be useful to add a trend line. You can do so by using the Microsoft Excel option. 
Several fits can be used, linear, logarithmic, polynomial, etc. You can go further and add a function with the exostat option plot a function. In this example, we have x1 times sinus x1. You can also modify the background and border of a plot. The axis can be modified. For example, you may need to have an orthonormal plot to get a better interpretation of your results. You can also want to specify precisely the length of the axis. You can do that thanks to the Excelstat tool Axis Server. A plot can be transformed. Excelstat offers the transformation by symmetry, translation, and rotation, as well as rescaling. Finally, you can merge similar plots. To go further in the plot customization, you can use Excelstat 3D plots. Thank you for watching this Excelstat video. Please contact info at excelstat.com for more information.